The Lego Movie Video Game Walkthrough Level 4, I believe, so I did get the opening sentence correct that time by calling it the correct game and hopefully the correct level number because I don't remember the level names until I render them out because that's the only time I bothered to look for them. <laughs> anyway, here you have to escape the Wild Wild West with Wild Style Emmett and also the Gandalf guy, whose name starts with a V, but I can't remember how to pronounce or really remember what it is. I think it's Vitrivis or something? I don't know. I wasn't honestly paying attention to him the whole time, and I was more paying attention to the fact that he's Morgan Freeman. So anyway, part of his abilities will be to walk over pretty much anything because he's blind, so he's not scared. And he can throw his staff at people to stun them, he can throw his staff at holes, so uh, he can create kind of a pole that Wild Style can then swing on. And you'll see all this as you play through the game. Later on you'll see him be able to... Uh, activate secret knocks and that is kind of an annoying aspect but it's it's pretty funny anyway so just get the ladder or not the ladder the bridge put down so the other two can cross and then you want to use Emmett's drill to knock down this wall and then switch on over to wild style so you can jump up and you're going to need two instruction booklets this time now you're going to need to get Emmett to get up here and you're going to want to I need to find a better word than going. Next, you have to jump on top of that net with wild style so you can get onto the roof on the left there. And then you're going to need to... I said going again. Anyway, you'll want to pick up the second instruction booklet and you're going to need to get dang it, Emmett up to the top and that is where the... Um, wait, what am I saying? No, 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 Emmett needs to come over here so you can build the instruction so you can get him up to the top so you can drill out that pillar that has been staring you in the face for about the last 30 seconds. So just follow the instructions like you always would. And I think this is actually a pretty lengthy level, yeah. This level is pretty long, so this is one of the longer ones. As I said before, there are not too many long levels in this game, but uh, there's a few, and they're all pretty good. And the one last final complaint I think I'm going to say are the 30 second load screens. I'm going to blame that because I was playing on the Xbox 360, so I'm going to blame it on the Xbox 360, but I have played other Xbox games without load screens that ridiculous, so I don't really know. Maybe it's faster on the PC and maybe it's faster on the newer consoles. Actually, I doubt it's faster on the newer consoles because you probably have to install it. <laughs> I don't know, that's just so weird to me that you now have to install most of your games on these, on the new Xbox and PlayStation. And it's just like, well, wasn't that the point of consoles was so you didn't have to sit through that? I don't know. Anyway, move on over to the clock, knock it down with them, it's drill, and then you can build this with Emmett, or not, not Emmett, you can build it with the Gandalf guy or with uh, Wild Style because the white guy is also, well actually I guess he's black, but the white haired guy, <laughs> you know what, I should, I need to be really careful with what I say there, but whatever color he is, he's got white robes on and white hair, so the white looking minifigure, uh, you need, he, he is a master builder, so you can use him to build things. That was my whole purpose of saying that and possibly getting ragged on for being racist. But, you know, what can you do? Everything is racist these days. So, uh, here is going to be the first time you're going to be throwing his staff into a hole so Wild Style can swing on it. And then you're going to uh, just aim it over to the left. If you try to shoot anything over here to the right, I thought maybe there was one over here, but... No, it's to the left. You probably saw it. You see it right there. There it is. And you can just swing it on over, then switch to wild style, jump on up on top, jump up on top of the uh, canopy thing here. And you're going to need to knock down the ladder so Emmett can get up and drill that canopy down. Well, the backgrounds are actually pretty cool in this game, I didn't really pay attention to those. 
and all the bullets flying at you, that's always fun to see. Although it's kind of like Star Wars, where they never hit anybody, they just shoot for fun. And I guess if you had a gun that had unlimited bullets because you were in the future, why wouldn't you just shoot? You wouldn't even have to aim. You wouldn't have to be a sharpshooter. You just had to shoot, and eventually you would hit something by sheer chance, hopefully. So here is a little bit tricky, but if you just keep on walking to the right, you shouldn't have to worry about the rockets that Liam Neeson is shooting at you. And instead, uh... Wait, why did I say instead? I don't know, I just completely lost my train of thought. Anyway, build this, um... Lego with the Ventrivis guy. I really should probably find out his name by the next video. <laughs> and, uh, then you can activate the catapult and I think that was a chicken on the end of that line I think the hook there was a chicken so you throw the chicken into the wall and then you can use wild style to build the bridge across for Emmett and also herself oh I really want one of those little Lego chickens like that one hopping around I want one of those in real life I wonder why I don't have one I have like every other Lego brick under the Sun except for the chicken. If they even make it, do they make those? They must. They must make them or they wouldn't be in the game, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look that up and probably buy like a pack of 50 of them on eBay or something. So upcoming here is probably one of the best places for a checkpoint actually, but it's also considered one of the bosses of this game, even though it's not really much of a boss. So you're going to need to find three of these instruction pages, and you will be building a catapult that you can use to knock down the ladders. So the first two instruction pages are on the right side, and that one is in the chicken pen. Go chickens, go! Attack the enemies! And then I decided to save here, because why not? And then the final one will be kind of down here, and you just need to jump on down there to get it. And for some reason, I was trying to deal with the other enemies instead of actually picking up the <laughs> instruction page. But once you get all three of them, stand on this building space, then follow the instructions to build the catapult. And then you're going to have to get a couple of barrels that you can move onto it, but I will talk about that when this finishes. So the more instruction pages that you have, the more studs that you can potentially get, but I'm I'm just going to say you're probably not going to get more than 10,000 on average, just because the timer gets really ridiculous with the amount of studs that it lets you have. Like right there you can see it's speeding up as it goes, and I was doing pretty badly because for here I was like, am I really timed? And I was just kind of like, what? I was looking for the timer and I couldn't see it, and I eventually figured out that it was the stud thing, so again, if the studs run out, I think you just get zero studs. It doesn't make you fail or anything, so you're not actually timed, but you are kind of timed. Anyway, just get onto that barrel, then move it onto the catapult, then you'll need to push X if you don't get knocked out of the way with these stupid robots, and you'll have to do that three times to knock down the three ladders that are up on the roof there on the side of the building. And I just now noticed that the barrel is actually filled with dynamite, that's pretty cool. So you don't have to do any adjustments, it will fire to the ladder automatically. <laughs> kind of amazed those chickens haven't fallen off the uh, roof yet. I guess they're smarter than we give them credit for. They also taste really good, but, you know, I don't know if I'd want to eat Wild West chickens eating a bunch of sand. Oh well. So the end of the level is not coming up shortly. I did not realize how long this level really was. So this next part is going to be something you will be doing often throughout this game, which is uh, stunning one of the rocket robots and then trying to build the Legos, including the robot. And you just need to throw something at him, so in this case you throw the staff at him. Later on you'll be able to throw a Batarang at him with Batman, and then you will just need to select him and the other two Lego brick selections and you can build whatever it is that you need to build. In that case it was a bridge. And you'll also want to throw your staff into that bullseye, I'm gonna call it now the bullseye, and then you can swing on it with wild style. And when you're up here the good cop, or I guess he's the bad cop, will continue 
to try to take you out, but he really just misses even though he's got unlimited rockets. And you want to switch back to Gandalf and move on over uh, across the billboard. Now, I really shouldn't be calling him Gandalf because I think you actually can unlock Gandalf in this game. But I can't remember how to pronounce his name, which I will find out by the next video. I will listen to something that says his name, and I will be able to say it. I hope. <laughs> it's just a weird name. I think it's like Ventrivius or something like that. I'll, I'll look it up, but anyway. Here, you're going to need to use Emmett to take out two of these ladder things and uh, just use his drill on both of them. And you will be using him for the third one, but you're also going to want to uh, switch to someone else so you can actually build the crack on the side of the ladder so Emmett can actually drill it. And one thing to remember with the drill is that you don't have to be perfect with your location of wherever the heck you're going to be when you're drilling. And what I mean is you can start drilling normally on the ground and then you can move into the spot you want to drill and then it should automatically let you start drilling away that spot. But what is really annoying is that every time you get hit it kind of uh, it interrupts you and then you have to go defeat the stupid robot and figure it out again. So for there, just knock down the Legos from the uh, box and then build this crack. And remember that Emmett is not a master, so you'll have to switch to Wild Style or the other guy. And then you can switch back to Emmett and start building this, or start drilling this. And when that's done, a bunch of these robots will be coming up to come after you. And then it's the Sheriff Robot. Now he's actually not that difficult, he's kind of fun. The first thing you just need to do is take out all the little robots that he sends after you. And then just walk around, collect a couple of the studs. And then this guy will show up and you're going to want to hit him with the staff so then you can use your master powers to build whatever it is that needs to be built. But you have to be careful because he doesn't stay stunned forever, and if he wakes up then he will shoot you, and it's usually a one-hit kill, and that is just kind of a nuisance. Now you'll need to switch to Emmett so you can repair this helicopter. I guess it's a helicopter. And the propellers will fly off of the helicopter and knock down the water tower. And that will disorient the sheriff. And all you have to do here is just collect all the blue studs that show up. And then go and pound on him. And eventually it will let you continue on with the level. But it's really weird because there's no heart indication. And there's really nothing to tell you that you're supposed to be hitting him. So you can take out the other... Uh, enemies if you want to, or you can just keep hitting him until something happens. Eventually, <clears throat> eventually these robots will show up on this platform and then you'll want to switch to another master or stay the master that you are if you want to I don't know it doesn't really matter just <laughs> just be a master build the objects
doing? Goodbye. Boom. Spins around. Uh, we need to attach the wheel to something uh, that spins around. We need to, uh, spins around. We need to attach the wheel to something that spins something that spins around. Spins around. Spins around. Spins around. Spins around. Oh. Emmett, where are you going? 